Gas Max Tuition. Today, I am going to discuss a new topic, the Green's function. <coughs> Green's function means the method of solving a non-homogeneous differential equation by using Green's function. Method of solving non-homogeneous differential equation by using Green's function. Okay. Yes. First of all, we have to consider a non-homogeneous linear equation. <coughs> consider let a n x d raised to n y by d x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x d raised to n minus 1 by d x raised to n minus 1 plus etc. plus a 1 x into d y by d x plus a 0 x into y equal to f of x. I call it as this is an equation number one. Consider a non-homogeneous differential equation. That means consider a linear differential equation. A n x d raised to n y by d x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x d raised to n minus 1 by d x raised to n minus 1 plus x a a 1 x into d y by d x plus s 0 x into y equal to f of x. This is a non-homogeneous differential equation. Okay. Then we can convert this equation as a n x into d raised to n by d x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x into d raised to n minus 1 by d x raised to n minus 1 plus x a a 1 x into d by d x plus s 0 x into y e equal to f of x f of x yes a n x d raised to n by d x raised to n a n minus 1 x d raised to n minus 1 by d x raised to n minus 1 plus x a a 1 x into d by d x plus s 0 x into y equal to f of x see we have but studied about this differential operator d by d x is equal to v naught d by dx we consider as capital D. d square by dx square we consider as capital D square. Similarly, d cube by, by dx cube equal to capital D cube. So this equation we can write like this way. Then we can write a n x into capital D raised to n, a n minus 1 x into capital D raised to n minus 1 plus x a a 1 x into capital D plus s 0 x into y e s 0 x into y equal to f of x. Okay. Ready? This by <coughs> differential operator d by dx equal to capital D, d square by dx square equal to capital D square, d cube by, by dx cube equal to capital D cube, etc. d raised to n by dx raised to n is equal to capital D raised to n. Then this equation we can write n x d raised to n plus a n minus 1 x d raised to n minus 1 plus etc. a 1 x into capital D plus a 0 x into y equal to f of x. These terms we call as a differential operator of the function. Differential operator. Or I can simply call it as p d p d into y. p d into p d into y of x is equal to f of x. Where P D equal to where P D equal to A N X into D raised to N plus A N minus one X into D raised to N minus one plus X A A one X into capital D plus S R X that is known as a P D. P D means differential operator of the given function. Differential operator. So we can write this non-homogeneous equation. We can write P D of Y of P D into Y of X equal to F of X. I call the sign. This is equation number two, where P D is equal to a n x d raised to n plus a n minus one x d raised to n minus one plus a one x in the capital D plus a zero x. That is known as P D. This P D is known as a differential operator of the given function. Okay, P D into y x equal to a four x. This is equation number one, and this is equation number two. Okay, have any doubts? Okay, 
that is feed into y of x equal to f of x i equal to and this is equation number 2 pd means i already told you it is the differential operator of the given function okay for pd into y of x equal to f of x okay next let us consider another function that function i called as a g x z let us consider another function g x z this g x z is called as a green's function okay we are coming to the point let us consider another function g x z this g x z is a, called as a green's function such that the general solution of the equation 2 equation 2 means pd of pd of y x is equal to f of x obeys some certain conditions that is certain condition means a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b is given by y of x is equal to integral a to b g of x is a f is a b is a consider let us consider another function g x is a g x is a i we call this g x is a green's function exists such that the general solution to equation 2 equation 2 means pd of y x equal to f of x obeys some boundary conditions in the promise they will give some boundary conditions that is conditions in the range a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b is given by y of x equal to integral a to b g of x is set into f of x b is set okay that is what this equation number 2 means pd of y of x into f of x equal to 2 see then we can write by using from 2 we can write from 2 we can write this pd pd integral of a to b integral of a to b pd into y of x that means g x is set into f of x set b is set equal to y of of x okay that is integral a to b pd into g x is set f is set b is set equal to f of x i thought this, this is an equation number 3 equation number 3 or this is called as equation number 3 then we can write this is called equation number 4 this is equation number 4 okay why let us assume that a function g x is set and that is known as a green's function x is such that the general solution to equation 2 obeys some boundary conditions in the range a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b is given by g y of x equal to integral a to b g of x is set f is set b is set then by using equation number 2 we can write p equation number 2 is pd into y x is equal to f of x instead of y x we can write integral a to b g x is set f is set b is set that is integral a to b pd into g x is set f is set b is set equal to f of x i call this an equation number 4 but first we consider a non-homogeneous equations. Then we convert that equation to a differential operator. And after that we have to consider another function g x is set. That g x is set is called as a Green's function. Okay. And again we consider another function. That function is known as a Dirac of delta function. Dirac delta function. Consider another function. Consider another function. Dirac delta function. Dirac delta function. Answer another function. Dirac delta function. The fundamental property of Dirac delta function is fundamental property of the fundamental the fundamental property of Dirac delta function delta Dirac delta function is integral f of t into del of t minus a dt is equal to f of a this is the fundamental property of Dirac delta function after I explain this I got to, what do I will explain what is this Dirac delta function after that I will explain okay See, consider another function, Dirac delta function. We call it as 
here we consider one function g x z that is now a green function and here we again we consider another function that function is known as a dirac delta function dirac delta function then the fundamental property of dirac delta function is integral f of t del t minus a del of t minus a b t equal to f of a then comparing this equation for with the, the fundamental property of dirac delta function comparing 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 equation for with the, the fundamental fundamental property of dirac delta function dirac delta function then we can write comparing equation for this is equation number 4 with the dirac delta function we have consider the comparing equation for with the dirac of delta function then we can write then we can write integral a to b f of is set f of is set into delta of x minus is set b is set equal to f of x i call the sign equation number 5 okay comparing the consider another function that function is known as a dirac delta function the fundamental property of a dirac delta function is integral f of t into del t minus a d t equal to f of x then we compare an equation for with the dirac delta function comparing this equation for with the fundamental property of dirac delta function then we can write integral a to b f of is set into del of x minus is set dx is equal to f of a f so f of x integral a to b f of is set del x minus is set d is equal d is set equal to f of x okay see there is any doubt there okay yes then integral a to b f of is set into del of x minus is set d is set equal to f of x where pd into that means the differential operator of the green function g x is set pd of g x is set equal to del of x minus is set come and this f is set f is set d is set is there then pd into g of x is set is equal to del x minus is set that is we can write that is that is pd into g of x is set equal to del of x minus is set okay that is the differential operator of the green function the differential operator of green function is equal to dirac of delta function del of x minus is set here we consider another function dirac of delta function the fundamental property of dirac delta function is integral of of into del t minus dt equal to f of n then comparing equation for with dirac the fundamental property of dirac delta function then integral a to b f of is set into del x minus is set d is set equal to f of x okay that is this pd into g x is set equal to del of x minus is set that means differential operator of the green function is equal to dirac of delta functions okay see then what do you mean by dirac of delta function by mathematical definition of dirac delta function is del t del or del t is equal to infinity when t not equal to when t equal to zero when t equal to zero and zero when t not equal to zero that is the definition of mathematical definition of dirac of delta function if the if you consider del x del x means infinity when x is equal to zero then zero when x not equal to zero then we can scaling this function that means we change the limit to a or we can write like this way 
del of t minus z is equal to infinity when t equal to a when t equal to a and equal to zero when t not equal to a okay that is the definition of a dirac delta function dirac delta function means del t equal to infinity when t equal to zero or zero when t not equal to zero then del of t minus a equal to infinity when t equal to a or zero when t not equal to a that is the scalar scaling of the function change the limit suppose this is equal to function then we change this to from this is to a so we call it as a scaling of the function scaling then del of t minus a equal to infinity when t equal to a and zero when t not equal to a. That is the Dirac, that is the def mathematical definition of a Dirac delta function. It also contains some properties. First property del of x minus z equal to zero when is x not equal to z. When x not equal to z, that is the foundation of the first fundamental property of Dirac delta function. That is del x minus z equal to 0 when x not equal to 0 and the fundamental property of the Dirac delta function is integral f of t into del t minus a dt equal to f of a. These two properties you have to remember. First del of x minus z equal to 0 when x not equal to z and the second property integral f of t into del t minus a dt equal to f of a. Okay, that is the simplification of the Green's function. Okay, <coughs> then how to solve this problem by using Green's functions? Okay, have any doubts? No. Any doubt? No. So good. If any doubts, okay. no. <coughs> no, no. then we will discuss them how to solve these equations and the problem will be do will be in next video. Okay, thank you.